Hi everyone, in this giving video I want to get really practical and show you how you can set up online giving via our push pay facility. Studies have shown time and again that people who give to churches using internet banking, just like in other areas of life, are much more consistent with their giving. That's one of the great benefits of the whole concept of scheduling internet payments and so on. So in one sense, we could say we're being more faithful when we give online too. Now, numbers of you already do give consistently to your tithes and vision builders and other offerings using a direct deposit via your bank. And I'm not going to show you how to do that today, mainly because every bank's uh, web platform is a little bit different. But if you would like to set up direct deposit, it's really quite easy. Essentially, it's just like paying any other payment online. You just need our church's BSB, our account number and our account name and a, a reference code and we'll show you how to do that in just a moment and if you have any questions at all regarding any aspect of internet banking with regard to giving please chat with our bookkeeper Kim Whedon she's happy to help you out and it's part of her job description to help people get internet giving set up but today I predominantly want to focus on push pay even if you do give consistently via direct deposit, I would still recommend you take the time to set up a push pay account. It only takes two or three minutes to get established. And once it is established, you can give in under 10 seconds. So even if you're giving your regular giving via a direct deposit, it's still handy to have this account. When we have a guest speaker or when we have um, other special offerings, you can be sitting in church, open up the app and you can give with in under 10 seconds, which is a lot more consistent and you're more likely to do that than you are if you haven't got cash on you to then go away and have to think about doing a separate direct deposit later. So what I'm going to do in the next couple of minutes is I'm going to show you a screencast of my mobile device and you're going to see how I interact with the PushPay app. I'll show you around it and give you the basics so that you'll be all set to be able to give via PushPay in the future. So before we actually look at the PushPay app, I just thought I'd show you on our church website where you can find all the information with regard to giving if you want to set up direct deposit or even a link to PushPay. If you just type in here c3wc.com, which is our church website, it'll take you to this landing page and you can select a campus. So for the sake of this example, we'll select Wallandilly. It's exactly the same for Camden. And when we open up the uh, campus webpage, you'll notice over here on the menu bar in the top right corner is Give to C3 Church. So I'm just going to click on Give to C3 Church and it will open up a page that gives us all the information that we need. So you can see here our two options. One is push pay, which is the one I'll show you in a minute, and you can actually give via push pay using a web page just by clicking on that button there as well. And secondly is direct deposit if you want to use your own internet banking facilities. And uh, all the information on reference codes and so on is there, as well as the BSB account name and number that you'll need. That's all the details there in red. If you're giving online using direct deposit, please make sure you do mark your reference clearly. That helps Chem to make sure that we allocate it to the correct campus and for the correct purpose. So we do encourage people to use their name. It's not completely compulsory, but it does help us to be able to get back in touch with you if there are any issues. But at the very least, make sure you mention your campus, Wallandilly or Camden, and then the purpose of it. Is it tithes? Is it a guest offering? Is it vision builders? And if it's vision builders, the easiest way to do that is just to type VBW for Wallandilly and VBC for Camden, and Kim will be able to make sure she allocates those funds correctly. So here I am on my iPhone and uh, I've just opened up my app store and just search for PushPay and you'll see this PushPay logo come up. It works on both the Apple and the Google app stores and uh, just download that. I've already done that so I'll just press open and it will take me to the app. Now I already have my account installed, so of course my security and so on is all set up, but uh, you'll need to do that the first time around in order to set up your account. So once you're actually in the app, you'll notice that down the bottom of the app there's a series of buttons which are your various different menu options, and I'll show you those in just a moment. Uh, on the home button, it's currently showing my last gift of $10, which was when I did a dummy run of this recording yesterday. However, when you first set it up, you should see a search facility there. And if you type C3 into that search facility, it should list all the various different dozen or couple of dozen C3 churches around the world using PushPay. And if your location services are set up, ours will be at the top of the list. If not, just scroll through until you find C3 Wallandilly Camden. Select that and you'll be able to add that to your favorites, which is the button down the bottom here. And I'm going to press on my favorites now and you'll notice that I have two favorite setup, C3 Sydney, which is the Oxford Falls campus, and I normally use that for presents giving and so on, and C3 Wallandilly Camden. Both of those are starred as favorites. 
The next button down the bottom here is the recurring button. And on this one here, you can set up a recurring gift. So if you're not giving your tithes online any other way, you can set up a recurring gift for your tithes or your vision builders, just like you would with a one-off offering using that recurring gift. The next button down there is your transactions, which will keep a record of all your previous transactions that you've done using PushPay. And lastly, the menu button is where you set up your profile details and your payment methods. So uh, when you first enter it, you want to set up a payment method using a credit card, just like you would for any other online account. You just put your uh, MasterCard, Visa card, or your debit, debit Visa card, MasterCard into there and store it. And then once that's all stored and verified, you'll be able to uh, give in just a few seconds. Now, just to show you how to make a payment to C3 Church, if you click on the Home button or the Favorites button, in this case, I'll use the Favorites button because C3 Wallandilly Camden is stored here. If I press on C3 Wallandilly Camden, it will give me the option to give. And all I need to do is press on the Give facility and my account is already set up, so I'll be able to give very quickly. It will take me to the payment screen and there we have it. So that records my last giving. So you just type in the amount there that you want. So in this case, we'll just uh, do a, a dummy a dummy give. Say I was giving $100 and uh, select my campus using the location button there. And down the bottom there, you'll see I have the option of Wallandilly or Camden. And lastly, our reference, when we press on there where it says Tithes and Offerings, it opens up a menu option and you can see we have Tithes and Offerings, Vision Builders, Guest Speaker, Missions, Special Offering, Conference Course, Other Miscellaneous and Project Beanhouse. And you can give to any of those things using PushPay. Well, there you have it, guys. I do hope that's helped you out. As I say, if you have any questions at all, please chat with Kim. She'll be only too happy to help you out. Really appreciate your faithfulness in giving and believing that God is going to bless you as you are a blessing to the work that he is doing in and through our church. Have a great day.